Simu, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for having me, Jimmy. Oh uh, my God, best. Uh, can I just say best swag of any talk show or any I've ever been? I mean, look this at is, the detail. Look at that. First of all, you know, shrink wrapped, shrink wrapped. Look ribboned that. mugs. Shrink wrapped ribbon mugs filled with water, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Very hard to do. It's it's yeah. very hard to do. Yeah, I mean um, you could use that for anything. Um but you you are my parents' favorite talk show host and, and so they will be they will be enjoying this. So I'm bringing oh. I'm bringing this home. Ma. Hey mom and dad, I, I love you. Just a hi and Here's uh, a mug. Yeah. You gotta be very proud of your uh, your son. Thank you. uh, Don't let me forget that. I won't. Uh, oh, yeah. uh, how are you feeling? Uh, this is the biggest movie in the world right now. Uh, it's shattered records, made over 160 million dollars worldwide. Oh man. Uh, yeah. I mean, I know all these numbers. Um, <laughs> <That's> a, <laughs> I'm a numbers <laughs> guy. Uh, how does it feel? Is it, did you picture this moment happening? Um. You know, I probably I probably pictured it with a little less COVID, to be honest. Yeah, of course, yeah, yeah. You I know, so, like yeah. a, a little less social distancing, a Didn't little less lockdown, that. quarantine, yeah. and all that. No, I feel like <laughs> I feel like it's it's an exercise in lowering your expectations, right? Because I mean, it's a you know we did well. It's a lot of money, and it's number one movie in the world. Yeah. But you know, Marvel movies make like billions of dollars, and and yeah, that's the fact true. that the fact that like we have ours and and it made you know 160, which is great, amazing, right? But like, you know, they usually make a billion dollars. So then, <laughs> yeah. but I mean, you're also uh, you're handling it very well, you. and you're, you're, you. Uh, you you have a good sense of humor. Uh, but also, a high pressure. You threw out the first pitch, which I'm afraid to do, uh, and I really oh, yes. I don't know if I ever will yes. do it uh, but because it's just so much. I, I'm so nervous, and I'm not a pitcher. Um, and so uh, you know, but you went out San Francisco Giants, and you threw out the first pitch. Not only a great pitch. But then you did the coolest thing after. You did a oh. full-on backflip. Little backflip situation, yeah. Why add the pressure? Why? <laughs> you, once you got the pitch down, then you go, I'm out of here. We're good. Peace well, that's, out. that's the thing, is, is that I didn't expect the pitch to go as well as it did. <laughs> and when I actually threw it, it went like straight down the line. It was a strike. I mean, it was a strike going at like two miles per hour. If you Doesn't matter, video, counts. It was a yeah. strike. And I was so happy in that moment. I was like, yeah, we want to do, you know? I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily have done the backflip if I had just thrown the ball and it just bounced off the ground or um, yeah. something like that. It, it was uh, amazing. Uh, Questlove, our very own Questlove, is, yes. is thrown out the first pitch at a Phillies game. I've seen this legendary he, video. Yeah, he's at a oh. Phillies game. He threw out the first pitch. We actually have a clip of Questlove take a look. throwing the first pitch Let's right take here. A look. Yeah, it's pretty good. Take a look at this. And the pitch. No, yeah, it's terrible. Yeah. You got He just left the building. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> he left. But it was, it's a very difficult thing to do. High pressure, and uh, yeah, not everyone can do it. Um, I appreciate it. I want to talk about uh, Shang-Chi. Yes. Uh, uh, wh what does it feel like uh, to be uh, kind of looked up to now of, of kids, uh, as well as adults, but kids uh, seeing you as an action hero, a superhero? Uh, what, was it, what was it like to play that role? I mean... You know, first of all, it was, a, it was a dream come true because, you know, growing up, I'd been such a big fan of superhero movies, cartoons, TV shows. Like I watched, I watched all of them. I watched like the the stuff that you know, even like the you know the Jessica Alba, you know, Fantastic Four, sure. from all the way back when, and all the obscure Marvel movies. The Punisher I was probably not allowed to watch it at the time, but I watched it anyway. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I just I, I think I loved what superheroes represented, which is this kind of hope. And, and this unlimited possibility. And I just feel like everybody, regardless of you know, the color of their skin or where they come from, deserves to see themselves represented in that way. So what I'm really excited about this movie is that we get to, we get to provide that for, for kids everywhere, you know, and, and, to, and to be something that I never, I never had growing up. Yeah. Did, did, you, did you ever see uh, anyone that looked like you as a superhero growing up? Or who did you? I mean, I mean, you know, I, I loved Spider-Man, and Spider-Man had a whole, you know, a full mask over his face, and so you could kind of imagine who was, who was underneath. Um, yeah. You know, we had the occasional Power Ranger. Did you watch Power Rangers? <laughs> yeah, like, I did watch you know, Power once Rangers. In a, once yeah. in a while, like, the, but, you know, I mean, this is a, it's a big deal. It's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. I, I just want to, uh, I, uh, please take the moment in and know what you mean to a lot of people. It's uh, really changed the game for, in a great way. Thank so you. congratulations you on see that. See that, Mom? Uh, yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> doing okay. 
Uh, Vinny says I'm doing okay. I'm doing, I'm doing okay. <laughs> yeah, beyond okay. I want to show uh, everyone a clip. Uh, here's Simu Liu in Shang-Chi in The Legend of the Ten Rings. Take a look at this. You have the wrong guy. Does he look like he can fight? Come on, bro. <laughs> You okay? Yo, what up, y'all? It's your boy Clev coming at you live on the bus. I actually did take a little bit of martial arts as a youth, so I'm gonna try and grade this fight as we're going.